Hey everyone, Josh here with a close-up look at a Star Wars toy. And today we're going to unbox Luke Skywalker and Grogu and the X-Wing fighter from the Star Wars Mission Fleet line. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging real quick before we take him out of here. And there's not a whole lot. They don't do any kind of character description or anything. They're just showing you the box contents so let's go ahead and, whoa. let's go ahead and get it out of here and let's see what this guy can do and what's in the box and how it interacts so all right so we've got some quick literature and i'm already seeing the x-wing wings are gonna expand and Come together and that's a good thing i was hoping they were going to put that bare minimum put that kind of feature into this thing so all right so just looking right away we've got the x-wing itself very cool and we will take a closer look at that in a moment i just want to go ahead and uh Pop Luke out of here and we'll take a look at him very cool and this is of course the version of Luke that was in the Mandalorian when he did that famous scene I believe that's what this is from because it's from the Mandalorian show on the box so there's what he looks like and then of course these come with a small envelope of accessories and we'll see what is in here i'm pretty sure i know so all right there's grogu i was wondering where he's at so, <laughs> all right um so of course we have the cannons for the x-wing and we'll assemble those assemble those in a sec and <laughs> you have little t tiny grogu and he's very small as you can see and very cute like always so whoops and i'm just looking at him already i do not see any movement or articulation on this guy whatsoever so not a whole lot to see there so all right we'll put him aside and then of course we have luke's lightsaber and then hopefully putting these x-wings together is not difficult i'm just trying to look at how you open and close the x foils so i do not see any buttons or anything like on the older x-wings you would push r2 down and the wings would expand i do not see any buttons or anything it looks like you just kind of close them and open them by hand i do not see a lever or a button or and i'm trying to see this r2 head his head spins so that's cool all right so we'll go ahead and assemble this thing and I, it doesn't look like it's too difficult so okay so there's There's top and bottom pieces, so it's a little more complicated than it looks. All right, so th there's uh, pegs on this one, and I believe they go in the top. And you have top ones. And then it looks like on the bottom you have pegs on the wing. And you can see the cannon for the bottom is like the bottom's hollowed out. And you can see there's holes instead of pegs. So, I would say that's pretty self-explanatory. So, all right. Okay, there it is, put together. It's a pretty cool looking version of the X-Wing. And then the other, only other real thing I see is this landing gear and to be completely honest with you it is buried in there and i cannot there we go sometimes you gotta give them a little help so okay 
so the only landing thing you have landing gear you have is on the front the bottom center and then this set doesn't actually come with anything but some of the other ones come with both like extra accessories like a tripod cannon or something and you can insert them into these little holes that's why you see them all over the ship so i think it's designed so different set pieces are interactive with different sets like you can mix and match type of thing but all right so there's the x-wing let's close the foils and see how it sits on the ground okay that's good and then he's got the cockpit i don't see anything real special in there there's a pretty much a seat with a few uh buttons that's about it so all right let's put him aside and look at luke and see the things that he, that he does okay so i noticed this i opened unboxed in soka yesterday and she didn't have this but she has had the hole on her back and i didn't totally know what that was for and i know he's he's kind of hard to see because he's dressed in all black but you can see he has a hole in his back and i i'm assuming the other characters you can kind of same thing you can mix and match maybe the accessories but this is just the cape and you see it's just got a round uh, pin on it and that's how it inserts into his back so and then just real quick i want to run through the articulation on this little tiny figure because there are there is some so just looking at the head you have rotation and it believe it or not it does have a little bit of up and down and then I'm actually really impressed with the little tiny uh, shoulder joints they did here on these figures because you have the up and down and the rotation on this little tiny figure. So that's pretty cool. And then you should have a wrist rotation for the lightsaber. And then I believe other than the legs, yeah, that is it. So you have forward and back and that's it. So there is your Luke figure. And... I just kind of wanted to check. It doesn't look like it, and I can't really get it to happen, but I wanted to see if the lightsaber blade came out on him. And then let's see how he interacts with the lightsaber itself. Does he get a good grip on it? And yes, he does. So very cool. And again, you can rotate it with the wrist articulation. So that's pretty cool. And then... Just to be thorough, let's check and see. Will he hold it in both hands? Yes, he will. So, very cool. All right. And then, the last little thing I want to see, and of course, we don't need the cape for this. Let's see how he interacts with the X-Wing and how he fits in there and everything like that. And on the packaging, and it looks like it might work, I'll show you guys again real quick. If you look closely at the packaging, you will see Grogu is actually in the cockpit with Luke. And I guess that's supposed to be the scene where Luke rescues them and he's flying away with Grogu. But can you actually do that on with the uh, set itself or... Is that just one of those things that kind of put it on the box and you can't really do it? But it looks like you can. So we're just going to go ahead and put Grogu in his lap and see how that goes. And see if we can actually close the cockpit. And yeah, <laughs> he fits in there. He's, you can see the little guy in there sitting on Luke's lap. But yeah, Luke, it's not really great scale. The X-Wing should be a little bigger, but I understand they got to make things producible and sellable and boxable so you know you're not going to get the accurate scale but you can see you know like in the movies he actually has to climb up a ladder to get into the x-wing so but yeah uh, and, and that would be a really cool feature if they made it to where r2 came out but yeah all you're getting is the head spin so all right but there he is all put together and you can put Grogu in the cockpit. So pretty pretty cool little feature there. They actually made it so you can fit both both the characters in there. So All right everyone, there he is. This is Luke Skywalker and Grogu with the X-Wing Starfighter 
from the Mission Fleet series. And thanks for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying these videos. And we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.